And there it is, Spreaker. How are you doing? Got some new effects for you. Well, let's play them right now. Thank you for tuning in to Welcome Friends, Coast to Coast and Worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. All right, my friends. How cool is that? Brand new uh, live recordings, brand new uh, uh, voice effects here. Uh, that is uh, so awesome. So that's going to be the normal uh, entry when we go live on our Spreaker channel, friends. That's what's going to happen. That's what you guys are going to hear. Uh, so that uh, that's so awesome. I got that last night or yesterday. Got that all set up and dialed in. Uh, so that is going to be our uh, our main entrance there for Spreaker.com. How awesome and what a blessing that is, friends. Uh, amen. So. I think what the other one is, one is quiet. Let's let's hear that real quick here. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. Amen. All right, so one's more quieter. One is more, uh, actually, just one is uh, more uh, kind of louder, I guess. Let's try this one. Welcome, friends, yeah, that's coast a quiet to coast one. and worldwide. <laughs> You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. Welcome, friends, coast to coast Amen. and worldwide. So there you go. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. <laughs> so there you go, friends. Welcome, friends. There you go. It kind of loops, uh, basically. It just kind of loops through it. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but, uh, you know... Uh, I like uh, I like the uh, new effects we've got. Uh, also got this one for our closing podcast effects. Thanks for listening. So that uh, those three are the ones uh, the main kind of the main ones I'm going to be using just to play them for you just a little bit here, uh, friends. That's uh, going to be pretty awesome. And uh, amen. All right. So there you go. That's kind of cool. Just throwing some out, uh, throwing some effects out there, uh, some new ones uh, from our friend Miss Penny over in Australia. There, that's uh, very awesome. So, uh, some new effects going to happen here on the channel. That's uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So you guys over on YouTube and all the other channels, you guys will be able to hear that. Uh, but uh, you know, I think on the other channels, um, Tin Can, Twitter, all that stuff. I don't know if you guys well. If I upload it, you guys will be able to hear that. So, uh, and of course, we got a crowd. We've got to get that church up on its feet, my friends, for this Friday afternoon and evening, actually. Uh, Bible study podcast here live. Pastor Rick on the air. And of course, we have our friends at Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, and more, like I said. So, those are the, like I said, just kind of briefly here, those are the little few new effects that I've got uh, from our friend Miss Penny over in Australia. I believe uh, outside of Sydney, I think, or something like that. I'll have to check into that and find out. But anyway, that's uh, kind of what's happening here. Um, all right. I had uh, I had a power cord just drop out on me, so uh, I don't know why, but uh, hopefully it'll, it'll last enough to record here. Oh, my friends, how's your Friday going? What is up? Uh, amen. And again, Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Uh, amen. On this Friday, uh, just doing a quick, uh, well, not a quick one, but, you know, about an hour or so, hour and 45 minutes on uh, Blog Talk and Spreaker. Plus, you know, we got Tin Can with us. Well, let's get into it, friends. i got a lot for you, a lot to cover here as we uh, I do my audio podcast here. Been kind of getting away from that. I really haven't just... You know, spent some time and really just did a, a really just 
a solid tin can. Well, not tin can, but I mean just like a, a solid uh, audio podcast. I've uh, been doing the video uploads, of course, you know, Melon TV. We got Restream TV. So I just really kind of wanted to get back uh, to basics here. Uh, you know, just uh, kind of bringing it, bringing it on back. And, then, and uh, you know, just hanging out in the studio. Studio A, church is open. Uh, like I said, friends, come on in. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just so excited to see to hear those uh, new effects. It's just so, uh, so awesome. So, uh, so yeah. Anyway, just wanted to get back to the audio part. You know, just hanging out, talking to you, sharing some scriptures with you, uh, sharing some word with you, and uh, yeah, just uh, kind of hanging out with you and and getting back into the audio part of the podcast so uh and of course you guys can catch this on youtube and all that stuff too so uh amen let's double check our volume level on of course on our blog talk amen well we're gonna pray it in and then like i said we're gonna go right into our scripture notes i got a lot for you amen so that sounds good uh, but yeah, we're gonna get into the scriptures. I got the audio, uh, audio. <laughs> I've got the, uh, I've got our podcast scripture notes, and then of course, you know, I'm gonna go into a couple more parts of the uh, ears to hear series. Uh, how awesome is that? You know, I always want to give you guys some encouragement uh, for you know your your day as you you know you, you just kind of go through your situations and stuff. So I wanted to give you those, and uh, amen, and uh, yeah. So let's just uh, let's just get back into the uh, into the word here, friends. Let's go ahead and just pray it in, and then, like I said, we're going to open up right with our uh, serenity prayer. We'll go into a few of our notes, and then I'll go into the series continued uh, with um, oh, <laughs> you know where I'm at, friends, with that. Uh, with the uh, Ears to Hear series. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, let me just check a couple of channels here. Now, I already posted some of this out or most of it out anyway. Uh, amen. And let's see. I don't know. Let's see. I think what I'll do is... Well, we'll have to just post this out after uh, I don't know if I'm able to do it while I'm actually live on the air um, and that's you know I'm still trying to figure all this out so bear with me you guys amen all right so that's okay we're gonna leave that I'm just got uh, a few of the channels listed up so well let's get to it my friends let's get to our church hope you have a, or having a great Friday as we got into our weekend. We're getting into our weekends here. Uh, amen. I was going to go on last night and got pretty wiped out. I pretty much overdid it uh, doing some yard work and well, you know, all that goes friends. So I wanted to get back on here. Uh, quick audio. So let's get to it. Let's get our coffee and our Bibles friends and let's get some church. Let's get going here. Uh, amen. So Heavenly Father, I come before you again, so grateful and always humbled uh, to be a servant and to be a messenger of your word, um, a, you know, a, a shepherd to the flock, uh, to your flock, Father God. I appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate the, um, you know, the time that I get to spend here uh, on these podcasts, sharing and preaching this message, preaching this word. It is just such a blessing, Father God. Thank you for the continued blessings that you keep doing, and you keep, uh, you know, uh, as your, as I always say, your hand is on this ministry, on the message, on the word here, and on the everyone listening, family, friends, uh, everybody uh, watching and hearing these podcasts. Your hand is on them, Father God. As your angels surround them and protect them and guide them and show them, uh, you know, give them that strength that they need and that are they are looking for. So. Uh, Father God, just thank you for this day. Thank you for the weekend that we're about to have. Uh, everybody's, you know, to keep everybody safe, um, keep everybody strong, uh, and, uh, you know, moving forward and, and trusting. And of course, we've got to trust in you and uh, 
So we give this all to you. I give this all to you, Father God, and just everything. Your hands on this mission. It's on the ministry. It's on the channels. Uh, just such a blessing to uh, again to share your word, to preach your word, uh, and to spend time in your word. So thank you for that. And uh, you know, I just want to just keep encouraging uh, family, friends, everybody again as they listen and hear. I want to be that encourager uh, that you have given me to do to encourage them. So thank you, God, for that. And I just give it all to you in Jesus' name right now. Amen and amen. All right, friends. Uh, let's see if we can try out one of the new effects. <laughs> always always awesome to, uh, to do that. If I can get my channel to go down. Got one of these. Check us out on Facebook. And this one, too. <laughs> How awesome is that, friend? I'm telling you, it is a blessing. These are really nice, uh, well laid out, well uh, set, professional uh, channel or, you know, effects and stuff. And so I'll be playing those on our on all the... Uh, Spreaker uh, channels and you know the podcast there, and of course I'll be uploading them to the other uh, to the other channel. So what a blessing, friends! That is so awesome. Uh, I haven't had that. You know I've been just going right into the podcast and just really kind of talking and stuff. But that's uh, pretty much what I'm going to use uh, for uh, the message there and for uh, you know the the channels and stuff there. So. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, boy, that's going to be awesome. Uh, I just, I'm so excited. I got that email yesterday, and uh, it normally takes about three to five days or so, but uh, I, I, I got that uh, yesterday, so pretty excited about that. Uh, amen. All right. So just kind of going through a couple of quick messages here. Uh, amen, friends. Well, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, hope you guys are doing, uh, having a great, uh, great day so far. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, we got our Bible scriptures here, so let's go ahead uh, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and get into a, a, some scriptures here. I'm just trying to re, uh, reset my mic here. All right, friends, let's go to our serenity prayer here. Now, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time and enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, and trusting he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with Him forever. Amen and amen. Right. Well, we're going to keep moving. Go right into our Lord's Prayer. And then, of course, I got some Bible scriptures for you, uh, friends. Uh, I want to go ahead and share those with you as well. All right. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, church, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. we got to get a big amen on that. All right, let's roll right into our uh, armor. Let's put some armor on right now, my friends. Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Go ahead and do that right now, if you will. Get your Bibles. Make sure you got them with us or with you for church service tonight here, uh, friends, our early evening. Now, I am going to go on uh, live, I believe. I think I'm going to be going on <laughs> uh, for our third service here. Now, like I said, I already did a couple of quick updates, and then we got this service here for audio. Again, I'm going to be throwing these in randomly, friends. Uh, I don't really have any set scheduling. Uh, I don't know when <laughs> when I'm going to do them, but I will be doing them, and I, I will uh, be uh, going, you know, trying to pick up this fourth 
uh, podcast here during the audio broadcast. So uh, stick around. Like I said, I'm moving forward, friends. God has had his he ha- has his hand on this podcast. He has blessed it. Uh, and again, uh, trying to keep it Holy Spirit led at all times as best I can, anyway, uh, for sure. And give me just a minute here, I'm trying to find out uh, what happened. My my cord popped out. It it actually just got loose, and uh, trying to figure out what's going on with that. So, uh, all right, there it is. So yeah, one of my power cords for my main recording devices on uh, for tin can actually just came loose and so i was like oh no i better not lose power uh so anyway got sidetracked again so uh anyway i'm gonna start throwing these audio podcasts on uh i think either randomly or trying to get them scheduled in uh because we got monday wednesday fridays uh with melon tv at twitch tv uh, of course twitter and linkedin so I want to throw maybe I tried this a long time ago and it didn't work out. I couldn't wake up early enough. So I uh, I want to throw a morning podcast, maybe an hour an hour and forty five minutes, uh, right here on the live Spreaker channel. So maybe we could do that. Maybe we, that's something I could look into uh, for sure. So Amen. All right. So let me get to. I think that's what I want. Nope. Uh, is that it? Spreaker. There it is. Um, <laughs> trying to get to the channel. So anyway, I'm going to be throwing those in. I, and I think more, they're going to kind of lean towards the 11 o'clock hour uh, on, uh, you know, on the, uh, on the, for the audio uh, podcast right here. So I think that's going to be uh, awesome. So, amen. So we're going into the monitor here. Just a real quick check. Um, Let's see if I can get in there. I don't know. I'm trying to uh, go in on the other channel here. So I don't know if I can do that. It complicates things just a little bit. Um, Amen. All right. Well, we'll figure that out. You guys can catch this podcast on YouTube, of course, and then I'll post that out to the other channels. So, uh, anyway, so yeah, we're gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna be adding this in. Like I said, it may be random. It may be. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it may be scheduled in every morning at eleven to eleven thirty or so. But I do enjoy doing the audio. Like I said, it kind of brings it on back home because I kind of straight away. Uh, you know, from just doing the audio podcast, I hadn't got a chance to really kind of think about that and put that together, but just because we're jumping on, you know, the video. So anyway, <laughs> as I again got sidetracked here, um, I will be going live um, on, um, I believe on Melon. Like I said, I think that's where uh, where I'm at tonight is going to be at Melon TV, so... Uh, for about 10:30, uh, I think that's uh, that's what's happening. About 10:30 tonight, p.m. Pacific Standard Time, of course. Um, I'll be jumping back over. Uh, I'll be jumping back over to Melon. So, I thought about maybe changing that up to to restream TV, going back over there tonight, uh, and then just kind of switching things out, but. Uh, you know, I kind of change it up between those two friends. So, uh, amen. So, there you go. Quick updates, kind of random thoughts here, friends. I am your host, Pastor Rick, here again. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, live on our Audio Bible Study Podcast. Amen. Spreaker Live, Blog Talk Radio, Tin Can, Anchor, CastBox. And a whole lot more. So, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling here. Uh, into our podcast, we're going to do uh, Ephesians six ten through twenty, friends, on our audio Bible study podcast here, right, right now. Amen. All right, now finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, friends, stand, uh, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance supplication or and supplication for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that i may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel uh, for which i am an ambassador in bonds that that therein i may speak boldly as i ought to speak well there you go friends how awesome is that all right let's roll back over to of course, our Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. I'm going to go back to the original uh, Part A there. And, again, if you guys say this prayer, let's go ahead and, well, email me over at Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com. That is the official email address for the channel uh, and for all the podcast uh, podcast channels there. And just a quick shout-out to all the new subscribers over at YouTube. Boy, that is uh, awesome. Uh, ended up having a, a few more brothers and sisters on there today. Uh, so you guys are just awesome, and I always appreciate you guys on all the channels, not just YouTube, but all the channels across the world. I think it's like something, it's grown now to about 1.3 million, uh, you know, uh, combined with all the channels. Now, I am on another channel, Friends Wisdom Podcast. Uh, and don't forget, as I always say, don't forget uh, verbal, uh, V U R. Uh, I believe V U R uh, B L. There he is, and of course all the other channels as well: Google, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and more. You guys are awesome, and I always appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, subscribing and like I said, following the podcast. Uh, what a blessing uh, it is! And so, uh, you know, thought about quitting a long a couple of times actually more than once uh you know kind of hit the floor and this was like i'm done i can't do it no more but you know god always reels it back in and then of course you guys with your uh massive support and uh everything just such a blessing so awesome uh my friends uh and i like i said boy do i appreciate you guys uh you know and your support and everything so I, you know, that's why I keep doing it. That's the motivation. God's the motivation. He's the motivator. But you guys have always, of course, are always the motivation. Uh, and, uh, again, I always appreciate that. So, hey, man, just doing a quick uh, double check um, on, uh, on the channel here. I just noticed something was off. And, of course, you know how it goes with that, friends. I wanted to make sure everything was good. So, uh, you know, even with the spelling, even if it's like a little bit off, it just, it, it, you know, it, when I try to repost it, it, it doesn't look right and it's kind of thrown off. So, and how? There you go. <laughs> it's an early evening. And let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's see if I can fix that. There it is. All right, so I want to make sure I got that changed out because it wasn't right. Uh, so, anyhow, let's keep going, friends. Uh, our sinner's prayer salvation, of course, repent and receive Jesus into your hearts, my friends. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's grab some coffee. Uh, amen. All right, kind of reminds me of sitting around in the old days watching the, uh, or listening to the radio, right? Amen. <laughs> Let's get that back in there. Amen. All right, double checking. Uh, sometimes the cords and cable wire, you know, the cables and stuff come out, and that is not always good. So, try.
trying to make sure I don't lose any power again like I did the last time, kind of thrown off. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, it kind of reminds me of the old days when they used to just sit around and uh, listen to the radio, you know, on the the old programs and stuff. I remember that as a kid. I remember sitting and uh, doing that. We didn't really have, uh, you know, we, we had a TV, but we kind of got limited at that point in time, you know, and uh, so we just had the radio. And, you know, that was uh, fascinating to me. It was, uh, you know, opened up a whole new uh, life uh, for me. And, uh, you know, that's uh, what got me into doing what I do now. And, you know, just interested in the radio and broadcasting and stuff. So, and then along came podcasts, you know. And I, I jumped into it uh, just shortly after it started. So I've been at it for a while. Uh, but, uh, you know, technology has gotten better and improved, and the channels have improved. I think I started out with about three or four channels. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and now I'm like, you know, more than that, obviously, about 15 or so. And, uh, you know, it's turned into a full-time, seven-day-a-week position, So which I'm great, always grateful for. But, like I said, the technology has gotten better, and the channels have grown uh, to a different, whole different level. So... You know, uh, when I think about quitting, I think of you guys uh, and uh, all the love and support that you guys have shown me over the years. And I'm just like, nope, I can't do it. And and especially, friends, the key thing is uh, the love and passion that Jesus had for us and that God had for us, you know, when Jesus died on the cross. I just like, boy, that just melts your heart, friends. You know, just the passion that he had for us to do that, you know, and for God is to throw his, you know, he's up there just like, oh, mercy, friends, that, that just kind of brings it on home and melts, you know, melts the heart there, uh, you know, it, it, it's like, why do we complain about the littlest things? I mean, I know they're big things to us, but the littlest things uh, will throw us off uh, you know, and then, like I said, I had a big kind of a, uh, I don't know what the word is, but I kind of brought it all back. I'm like, mercy, I can't complain about things because, uh, you know, uh, boy, oh boy, I know, like I said, it just kind of threw me off and, and it kind of just pulled me back to, uh, you know, what my position is and what, you know, what our position is that uh, been called into this mission uh, you know, the podcast, the broadcast, the preaching, teaching, the fivefold ministry. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we, we sometimes lose sight of our position and what we got to do. Uh, and, uh, you know, we got to, we got to reel it in friends. So we got to reel it in and keep it back, uh, keep it real and, uh, get back in uh, again, as they say, uh, get back into position that God has called us to friends. Amen. All right, well, you know, let me um, hang on here, friends. Where am I? Um, there it is. Uh, my whiteout just ran out, and uh, so I have to get another one here. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, so <laughs> that just put it all in perspective. Uh, you know, uh, just uh, gratitude for the position that I've been called into. Uh, you know, and uh, what I what I get to do on a daily basis. So. Again, that's why, you know, the motivation to keep, you know, that I just keep going to keep doing this and uh, always appreciate uh, the opportunities that God has laid out for me. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, of course, uh, I appreciate, uh, as I said a million times, I appreciate you for sure. All right. I know. <laughs> that's why I love doing these podcasts. Uh, what a blessing, friends. So, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, I want to go ahead and share, uh, friends, as I always like to do, the uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. So, go ahead and go there, if you will. And uh, let's go ahead and share that and read that together here. And we're just a little after 5.30 p.m. here on the dial uh, for this Friday. Um, third service? Second service? I don't know. It's, I think I have it listed as first service, but I've already been on a couple of them. But this is going to be our, our kind of our technically uh, first service here. Um, 
well, it actually, I should probably change that because I was already on, like I said, a few channels already. But we're going to leave it at the first service. Why not for a Friday? I, I don't know. I may change that over. Uh, I'm not sure. So, um, let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and change it. I don't know if it'll change it uh, when I post out. But because um, it, sometimes it doesn't do that, it won't change it. Even even though I've I've technically changed it out, um, it will not. Sometimes uh, it doesn't want to do that. So we'll we'll try it here. I'm in the main menu, and so we'll we'll see what happens here. Uh, but I uh, kind of want to just get that in there. Um, And again, just trying to throw some information in there. Um, so, and I, and like I said, I don't know if it, it will actually, if it's going to actually do that. So we'll we'll find out in the long run here when when we're all done with this. But um, you know, because like I said, I never know. And I just saw that. I just looked at it. and I was like, oh boy, I better try to change that out. So. Anyway, thank you guys again. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, our Lord's Prayer, not Lord's Prayer, Sinner's Prayer Salvation. Uh, friends, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just kind of updating a couple of notes here um, on my notes. I'm updating the notes on the notes. Amen. Okay, good enough, I think, for now, for a minute or two. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, I updated over at Twitch TV and, of course, a couple other ones, the Instagram and the Rizzle channel. I've been on there for a long time and finally got back on there and updated that and the Instagram page. So lots, uh, lots of great work to do, friends. All right, repent and receive Jesus into your hearts, friends. Now, dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I thank you for dying on the cross for me, and I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are the son of God and I believe you are the Lord and that God raised you from the dead please forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean come and live in my heart be the Lord of my life and what else does he say that's what I want to know uh, amen let's see come and live in my heart of course uh, be the Lord of my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to walk with you and live for you the rest of my life. Thank you for saving me uh, and for giving me the gift of grace. Amen, right? Of eternal life, as he says, of eternal life here in heaven with you. Amen and amen. Now, I confess in the second part here that I am a sinner, and I have prayed. Um, hang on here. Uh, forgiving all those who have sinned against me. I ask for strength from the Lord to help me follow a path and lead others by the will of God. There you go. Amen and amen. So, again, get a hold of me, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, uh, or at yahoo.com. Not the network part, but the yahoo.com stuff. There you go. <laughs> oh, mercy. Well, I know it's already been a long day. Uh, I have been, like I said, trying to rest and stuff uh, as, close, as much as I can. But, uh, you know, then when I do the other stuff that I get behind on my podcast notes, and uh, studies and stuff, so I kind of got caught up on that, got a little bit done today, um, but I got the rest, so that's a good thing, so here we are, right, amen, all right, so it looked like that changed over, we'll see how it goes, like I said, when I post it out, I don't know if it'll post the original, or it will actually change over and do the, uh, the new updates there, so let's hope that it does, amen, all right, let's check, uh, now, hopefully, uh, like I said, everything will be working well here. Let me turn the volume level down. All right. And let's get a quick message out there. Um, amen. 
So, bear with me guys, give me a minute here. Um, oops. Give me a minute here. And just wanted to make sure I got this out. Um, all right. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got this posted out. And I'll let you guys know what's happening here. All right, well, let's keep rolling. You know, I got a lot for you, my friends. I do, I do, I do on this glorious Friday afternoon, evening. Uh, I guess that's what it would be. Amen. And let's see what I got on the menu. I got Ephesians. We did do Ephesians here. Uh, so let me see. I think I got that one already. I don't want to repeat a lot of the... I mean, although it's okay, uh, I I don't really want to, uh, you know, repeat too much of these uh, messages here. But like I said, I probably will anyway, because they're so good. I love doing them. Uh, amen. So let me go to uh, a couple of them. Let's see what I got on here. Well, I always like to include this one, uh, our, uh, what is it, uh, the prayer for you, friends, uh, brothers and sisters here in the church. I, I want to share this one with you uh, again. Now, Father, I thank you for the finished work of Jesus. I thank you for loving me so much that you have already uh, eternally cleansed me and forgiven me of all my sins. Uh, through Christ. Now I thank you, Lord, that I have already, uh, that I am already blessed with every spiritual blessing through Christ. Thank you, Lord, because everything I need pertaining to life has already been provided and completed, uh, Father. Now I thank you, and I enter into the rest. I thank you because my deliverance is finished. I thank you because my financial prosperity is finished, and I thank you, Lord, because I was healed by Jesus' wounds, and no disease can live in my body. Thank you, because I am free from the struggle and bondage of legalism. Uh, thank you, because I don't have to depend on myself. I received your great love for me and your eternal forgiveness. Uh, amen. All right? And... He says, I acknowledge that I already have it, with that internal forgiveness, of course, and I release your blessing from within my spirit every over every area of my life now and, friends, in Jesus' precious name. We pray it right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. <laughs> amen. All right, here, friends. Give me a minute. All right. <laughs> All right. Love having conversations. It's so awesome. Well, let's see what we got. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one, friends. Now, like I said, we're going to go into Philippians. And I believe uh, it's like, uh, what do we got? Um, well, uh, our, our, what is it? Um, our NLT recap series is what I'm going to do that uh, next. But we're going to look at Philippians here. And I think about chapter 2 is where we're going to be at. So, uh, <laughs> amen. So, yeah, let's go do this as our uh, series continues here, friends. Uh, ears to hear. Um, amen. So, let me go ahead and do this. Amen. All right. Let's, 
let's go ahead and do this. Let me grab some coffee. My throat is getting dry a little bit again here. Amen. All right. Good thing I got an extra little table on the side here. That makes it so much easier. Well, let's look at this, friends. Now, as you do what I have commanded you to do, watch and see, says the Lord. Not only will the, uh, the walls come down that have been hard against you, but also those windows that have been hanging heavy over you that have not opened uh, into your life yet. Now, the windows that are heavy over you and blessings and the promises that I have uh, you for your life, these windows are about to open wide, and I am going to cut the slit that has kept uh, kept them back from you. The spirit of grace, or says, the spirit of grace and mercy. All right, how awesome is that? Now, see, I line myself up with you this morning, or this evening, friends, to perform supernatural acts of kindness in your life. Uh, for I am doing these things that you thought were impossible and up until now you put it on the back of your mind because you thought it could not happen to you and for you so look now I am going to do it says the Lord so that you will know this is my token of uh, token of my uh, love and affection towards you that you are my favorite child too yes you are and I honor you and accept the offering that you have given unto me. I will cause those things that you have placed in my hand to be fresh downfall, or a fresh downfall, uh, one that is shaken together, running over, says the Lord. And yes, men and women, yes, even those enemies of yours shall give unto your bosom like never before. For some it shall be material things, but for others, and uh, let me get that, but for others it shall be a supernatural peace, a wholeness in your body, a wholeness in your relationships in your life, a wholeness in the ability, uh, or the, let's see, a wholesome, uh, not only the relationships, for, let's go back to that for just a second, the wholeness in the relationships in your life a wholeness in the affairs that are going on, a wholeness and soundness in your mind. So get ready, get ready, he says. Uh, <laughs> amen. Uh, <laughs> soundness in your mind, as I was talking to Fred here. <laughs> All right. Love to multitask, as I always do. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, friends. So let's look at this again here. So... I am turning, let's see, maybe let's go backtrack just a little bit here. A wholeness in the affairs that are going on, a wholeness and soundness in your mind. So he says, get ready, get ready. For I am your father and I delight to do good to my children who are expecting me to do good. Nothing is impossible to your God. What is impossible with men are, impos are possible with me, says the Lord. For I am doing it now. I am turning hearts around. And the enemy uh, has tried to hem in and hold on to your finances. I am loosing it right now, friends. He says, I am loosing it right now. Uh, amen, right? All right. So let's take a look at this. So, let me go back. Uh, he says, I am loosing it right now. Soundness of mind has been yours all along, but those demonic forces tried to keep you hemmed up with confusion, worry, and fear. Oh, man. Now, right now, like a heavy veil, right now I am lifting it, says the Lord. And the lame shall walk and leap for joy, says the Spirit of grace and mercy. For I heal the broken, I heal the broken in heart, and I heal the broken in body. I have healed the broken in spirit and mind. 
I heal the broken financially, and I heal relations. I am the Lord who heals. Uh, and Jesus replied, What is impossible with men is possible with God. And Luke eighteen twenty seven, friends. How awesome is that? Amen. All right, just kind of keeping an eye on the on the clocks there. I want to make sure I uh, I got that taken care of. I want to make sure that was in. And amen. All right, lots of stuff to do. Lots of uh, like I said, I want to try to make sure I get all this stuff together here and I keep track of the timing here. Amen. So, yeah, this will probably run an hour and 45 minutes or so, like, you know, the normal, uh, you know, the normal timing here. So, amen, friends. Let's keep going. Let's keep reading in the Word. Boy, I knew that was coming. <laughs> There's the yawn alert. Aisle three. <laughs> amen. Well, I got plenty of sleep. I did, be, you know, I was able to get some rest there. Uh, and uh, get some notes together, of course, but uh, I was get, able to get some rest, but, you know, <laughs> amen. All right, let's keep rolling as we look at uh, this part here. He says, and I, uh, and I heal the broken in body. I have healed uh, the broken in spirit and in mind, and uh, I heal the broken financially, and I heal relations. I am the Lord who heals, amen. Again, Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Luke 18, 27. Uh, amen. Got to get that extra note taken care of. And he says, pour it into your lap. Or give. Let's see. Let's back up. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured to you Luke 6:38 Show me or shew me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou Lord has helped me and comforted me that's going to be over in Psalm 86 verse 17 friends for just a few little extra side scriptures there, side notes. Hey, Amen. Get that church on its feet. All right, so there you go. Some really, really good ones, and I'll probably repeat this again later on tonight. I do want to thank everybody on the groups, on the Facebook pages across the world, and, you know, on the regular Facebook groups. But, you know, of course, everybody on all the channels. Uh, man, what a what an awesome uh, blessing you guys are. As I always say here. Well, um, so anyway, so I redid uh, an update at Twitch earlier, uh, friends, and then a couple other ones, like I said, over on uh, Instagram and and the Twitch, or not the Twitch, I already said that, but uh, the other ones. Uh, and so uh, I'm just trying to keep, like I said, I got lost of thought. My thought process just went right out the window, just like looking, you know, kind of looking at the monitors and making sure everything was still rolling good here. Uh, but, um, you know, um, trying to keep up with everything, it's always a blessing to do that. And, and I apologize, you guys, for uh, getting sidetracked. Uh, man, my mind wanders, and I'm just looking at stuff, trying to uh, keep everything going, you know, make sure everything's rolling here and uh, we're still live and stuff because of the issues with Wi-Fi and all that. But anyway, I appreciate you guys bearing with me and sticking with me and all the new subscribers. Like I said, boy, that is uh, so awesome and so amazing. And, you know, I'm doing my best here, friends. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can here uh, and, you know, really as best I can anyway, stay focused on what's going on and, you know, and, and give you guys some good scriptures, some good Bible studies um, you know, and, and like I said, I never know. I don't, I, I never know whether to do these every single day, three or four times a day, or, you know, a couple of times a day or, or something. I, I haven't heard anything from the Lord about moving, uh, you know, a, a setting a specific schedule. Um, but, uh, you know, I just, when I get, you know, 
when I feel it, when I feel like I need to go, I just go. Uh, and that's a, that's a great thing about all this stuff is that I, I have the ability to just go on live when I need to or when I feel like it. Or when the Spirit guides me, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I just, I, I am at a loss of words at, at some time or sometimes because, uh, you know, it's just just amazing, just so amazing, uh, you know, and uh, it just, again, lost for words at times, and, you know, I know that's hard to believe because I love to talk so much here, but, uh, you know, I, I'm just grateful, I'm really just grateful and humbled, uh, you guys, that, uh, you know, that uh, I get to do this, so, Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends. And uh, like I said, I'm going to keep uh, keep pushing through, uh, keep getting these messages out, you know, as do as do as what I can. And like I said, I just never know. I don't know. Um, I don't know how uh, many, like, how many times a week or how many times a day I should do these. I just go with what I'm feeling and. Uh, you know, of course, we God wants us to rest and and make sure that we're not over overdoing it. Um, but uh, you know, I try to just get on here when I can and and give you guys some good scripture. That's the bottom line about this church service here, this podcast. It really is the bottom line. I just try to you know give you some really really good scriptures and messages, uh, and keep it uh, of course Holy Spirit led as much as I can. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm doing the best I can here. Um, as I said, but, um, you know, I don't know, friends, I'm just a host, uh, or just the host, or a host on God's radio, friends, just a voice, amen, all right, hang on here, friends, I'm just kind of getting a couple updates here. I want to get to the next scripture, and we're going to look, friends. Oh, I got some good ones for you. Let me get my clipboard here. Uh, amen. Jesus is human, friends, and boy, is this good. Amen. Let me get that running here. Uh, over in the NLT Recap Series, friends, so bear with me. Let me get to that page. Uh, amen. Jesus is human. So if you got your notes uh, or your notebook tablets, go ahead and get this uh, written down here, friends, as we go into our other part of our scripture here. Uh, amen. Continue our series, our NLT recap series. Now we got them going out. We've got we sent them out. I did send a big pile out. So hopefully you guys got them. If you didn't get them yet, please let me know. Uh, and I'll retrace, uh, retrace and retract this and uh, make sure you guys get one of these things. Great book. Great Bible here. Uh, all right, friends, let's go ahead and read this. And again, this is going to be over in Philippians. Uh, and I believe we're going to go ahead and just go through all of, uh, what is it, uh, uh, chapter 2. So let's get that microphone queued up here. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys so much. What a blessing it is to be here with you. Uh, amen. Our weekend edition Bible study podcast here live at Spreaker. Amen. Well, and more too, but let's go ahead and keep reading here. Now, the passage of Scripture points a touching portrayal or portrait of the Savior while letting us in on some key truths concerning Christ's divinity and humanity. And again, friends, Jesus is human uh, on our uh, NLT recap series, again in the book of Philippians chapter 2. So, uh, in essence, it shows why we should worship and emulate Jesus in our lives. Now, one, and again, this isn't too much here. It's like one, one to three here. So Jesus veiled his deity without voiding it. Now, there was never a moment in the life of Jesus when he suddenly became God. He was God before he entered uh, this world as a little baby. And he remained God after he became man. 
when the scripture says that he gave up his divine privileges, it does not mean that he ceased being God. He simply veiled his deity. And uh, let's see what it says here. But he never voided it. He always was, always is, and always will be God. Amen. Now, Jesus, in number two here, Jesus experienced our experiences. Another way of saying that Jesus took the humble position of a slave is to say that he, friends, and here it is, <clears throat> here it is, uh, he emptied himself again this does not mean uh, that, uh, let's see, there's the other channels going on. I'm going to let them roll. Uh, this does not mean that he emptied himself of his deity, but that he emptied himself of the privileges of deity. For instance, he never performed a miracle for his own benefit. He walked this earth as a man, not a spirit. He experienced human limitations. Uh, Jesus, God in human form, experienced hunger. He uh, endured sorrow. He grew tired. He left the sting of, uh, or felt the sting of loneliness. He felt the pressure of temptation. For these reasons, we can be assured that God understands that we are going through or what we are going through in our situations, friends. Amen. All right, now, Jesus, uh, Jesus' lordship will be acknowledged by all. Regardless of what anyone thinks of Jesus now, in the end, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And the authority of the Bible backs this claim. Christ's divine nature, when he veiled at times uh, during his time on earth, will then be clearly visible for all to see. And that's, uh, there you go. So that's going to be uh, our next part of the, uh, part of our next Bible study podcast, our opening NLT, is who is Jesus? Amen. All right, my friends. Well, like I said, let's uh, get right straight into that one. That's uh, our first one there. And uh, let's see. I want to get the pin out of there. <laughs> Just trying to go through a couple of quick notes here, friends, as I continue. Amen. And trying to get my notes together here. So bear with me. That's all I always say. I always say it. Bear with me. I'm getting there. All right. Trying to get some of these extra uh, notes and stuff out of here. Amen. All right. Um. Let's see. So there you go on that one. And of course, give me a minute. Let me get that together. Well, we're going to go into our scripture here, friends. So. Uh, bear with me. Amen. All right. All right. Let's get into our scripture, Philippians. And of course, there goes our channel, so we're going to let them wind out. I got them on alternate channels, so I don't have to worry about uh, getting in there and doing any of that stuff and, and the changes or anything. Amen. So again, I hope you guys are doing well for this Friday, friends. It is Friday, April 8th, and this is your second service, the audio Bible study podcast. Uh, friends, just kind of freshening it up a little bit, giving you guys a, a little bit, uh, you know, some extra uh, alternate Bible study, I guess, instead of the video pod podcast. Uh, I want to break that up and uh, do an audio part, and like I said, I usually mix that up together, uh, audio and video podcast, uh, simulcast, but uh, I think I'm I'm going to bring this back and just sit and talk to you and just do a uh, audio, like I said at the top of the hour there, uh, just an audio broadcast for you guys. Radio, oh, there went my microphone. 
I clipped that with my pen. So anyway, um, having some fresh coffee and of course that fresh word. Amen. All right, let's stretch out a little bit. Take a quick break here, friends, as we go into our second part of our hour. You're live on the air Friday, April 8th. Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, doing the audio broadcast tonight or this evening. Uh, friends, we're going to go ahead and close out. We got Tin Can closing out. We got Anchor Cast Box. Uh, amen. Um, closing out here in just a couple of quick seconds. And then we're going to just let it set, and we're going to keep rolling. I got another, oh, what is it? Uh, I got another 55 minutes on the clock. Amen. And amen, there you go on that one. Oh, my friends, how are you guys doing on this weekend edition here? Uh, I always appreciate, a million times I appreciate you guys uh so much what uh, uh just a great opportunity to share the gospel with you uh friends and so uh as i kind of switch things up just a little bit here uh doing the uh doing the kind of breaking things up a little bit um uh, and i think like i said i think i'm going to jump over to melon tv again uh, I usually will start the day out on Restream TV, and then, like I said, I kind of switched it up a little bit. I just got off the air a little bit ago uh, before 5 uh, p.m. on Twitch TV. I just did a quick Melon TV Twitch update there, uh, and uh, then I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and jump on Melon TV again tonight. Uh, like I said, probably about 10.30, unless I decide to you know do something earlier i don't know um because <laughs> you never know you know i i just kind of try to keep it fresh as possible and just kind of you know spontaneous podcast there uh and that's a cool bumper sticker too uh my friends i i break for podcasts i don't know pop podcasts and coffee i don't know but anyway, uh, so it won't be until like 10.30. I want to take a break here, get a couple conversations in, calls in. Uh, and, um, you know, i got to post everything out and get everything set back up for next broadcast. But, you know, post a couple up, uh, get that set up for the weekend, or next week anyway. I usually post them out, like I said, I usually set them up at seven days at a time. But it's about four or five channels that I actually have to go through and, and set up, you know, one by one. So... Lots of work, like I said, but uh, always grateful and always humbled, uh, you know, to, to do these broadcasts. So, uh, again, friends, if you're just joining us, I am your host, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. We are live right now on Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, doing an audio Bible study podcast. And, of course, we just got off the air at Anchor, CastBox, and Tin Can. So, just uh, letting it sit for a second. We are going to go into Philippians, friends. Uh, what do we got? Two. Chapter two here. And uh, like I said, we've got a few, uh, a little bit of time left on the clock. Um, let's see. Like I said, about 45, 55 minutes here. So let's get rolling. Let's go into chapter two in the book of Philippians, friends. And I thought I was going to be able to post this out and share it, but... I don't see where I can do that. Um, amen. So bear with me. Let's see. I thought, yeah, I thought there was a spot uh, where I could actually post this out. Oh, there it is. Um, let's see if I can do that. Um, let's see if I can get in there. I don't know. I'm trying to post it to the Facebook group. I don't know if I'm able to do that. Um, but, uh, let's see if I can do that in here. I'm kind of simulcasting. It's kind of, what are the word? What's the word, friends? What is the word I'm looking for here? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, uh, how I can do that and how I can get in here and do this. Uh, amen. So, bear with me, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Um, 
Well, I thought I could do it, but uh, I'm not sure how I can do that. I guess it goes into the stories, the, the you know, your Facebook or Instagram stories there. So, and, you know, I haven't been on, well, I was just on Instagram, I guess, kind of like so many channels and stuff. Uh, amen, so. So, there you go. A couple of channels out. And, of course, there it is. All right. Um, all right. Well, we're still here. Let's get going. Like I said, just a, a couple of quick uh, posts out. Uh, and once this gets loaded into the YouTube channel, uh, then I'll, I'll just resend it to the channels here. So, you guys will be able to get this podcast. Amen. All right, let's update that, and then again, we're going to go into uh, Philippians chapter two on our Bible study here. Amen. Now, if therefore, or if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, uh, if uh, let's see, as he says here, and of course, my pen's running out. Um, comfort of love, if any fellowship in the Spirit, right? Amen. If any, uh, let's see, what happened here? Hang on here, friends. Uh, if any bowls and mercies fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. And that's almost, uh, friends, that's actually almost tied in uh, with, uh, what was the other one we just read the other day? Titus, I believe. Uh, you can actually tie this in with the book of Titus. Uh, that's, amen. And that's right there. Um, amen. So, yeah, Christian living is what we were talking about with Pastor Ian on Monday. You guys can catch that on the archive videos there. But, uh, yeah, we were talking about Christian living and faith and all that. And so this just come to mind, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, as he says in verse 2, Fulfill ye my love, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Now, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem each other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. And let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, through, or thought it not robbery to be equal with God, and that, uh, you know, we're talking about the devil there, he he thought he wanted to be equal, and of course, you know what happened there, uh, but made himself of no reputation to take him from the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and of course, uh, you know, where well, we're going with that, and became obedient unto death. Uh, amen. Even the death of the cross, whereby uh, God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Of course, you know, we're talking about Christ. Amen. All right. That, let me pull this pulpit up just a little bit closer so I can actually see what I'm reading here. Now, in verse 10, friends, and we're still in the book of Philippians here. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now, shining as lights in the world. Now, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in the, my presence only, but now, or now much more in my absence, work but your own salvation, or work out your own salvation uh, with 
fear and trembling. And that is our key verse there, friends. Uh, work out your own salvation. Don't be worrying about somebody else's. You know, don't be, uh, you know, a busybody and, and being nosy in other, other men's affairs. Worry about yourself. And, and I believe that's what this, uh, this is leaning to, is it says clearly here, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye always obeyed, not as my presence only, but now much in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And again, there's too many busybodies. There's too many people talking and, and just... Uh, being involved in somebody else's life. Now worry about your own self. Stay out of our business and worry about yourself. And I know people are going to get upset and mad about that. But hey, you know, we got to speak the truth here, friends. Amen. So look at that scripture yourself. Study that yourself and, and, and just see what that has to say, friends. Uh, and uh, again, uh, you know, we got to call it out. So here it goes. Let's go to 13. For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do uh, of his good pleasure. Do all things without... Here, here it is, friends, right here. Key word, very clear. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding... Forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, and that I may have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. And yea, if uh, I be offered upon uh, the sacrifice and, and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all for the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. Now, Timothy and Ephroditus. But I trust the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly out unto you, that I uh, also may be of good comfort, that I know your state, for I have no man like-minded, but will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. But ye know the proof of him that as a son with the Father he hath served with me in the gospel. Him, therefore, I hope to send presently as soon as I see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I supposed it necessary to send to you Ephroditus, my brother and companion in labor and fellow uh, soldier, but your messenger and, he says, but that minister or ministered to my wants. Amen. All right, double checking on things here. That looks good. Sounds good. Got the uh, monitors rolling here. Sounds pretty good. Amen. All right, let's continue. So in verse, I believe verse 26 here, uh, that he longed after you and was full of hardness. Because that ye had heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was uh, sick nigh unto you unto death. But God had mercy on him and not on him only. Uh, amen. But on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I set him, therefore, uh, the more carefully, that when ye see him again, ye may rejoice, that I may be the less sorrowful. All right. Receive him, therefore, in the land, uh, in the Lord, not in the land, but receive him in the land, or Lord, there it is. No, I was right the first time. Amen. Uh, with all gladness and hold such in reputation, because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death, but regarding his life to your supply, or to supply your lack of service towards me. Holy Moses, that's a long set of scriptures there, but 
Uh, always love going into that. So that's our recap series, friends. We got the NLT recap. Uh, amen. Jesus is human. So I think, uh, finally, maybe at least for now anyway, for a while, uh, I actually got everything kind of dialed in, tuned in, set up, reset, redone, and fixed to the most uh, best part here anyway. Um, always, you know, like I said, I'm always in trying to look for improvement here. Um, so, amen. All right, give me a minute here. We got some numbers coming in, some Dallas medicine emissions coming in or something. Um, giving it to the Lord today, amen, for sure. All right, so lots of messages popping in on the bill there, on the uh, message there. Um, so bear with me here. Uh, all right. Amen, friends. Well, like I said, I hope you guys are doing well for this lovely Friday afternoon. Uh, amen. I know I had to check. Is it like Friday? Is it really, uh, really, really Friday? It is. It is Friday. Amen. Amen. All right. Lots of stuff happening. Uh, friends, so bear with me again. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's keep rolling here. Amen. Um... All right, trying to figure things out here. Uh, give me a minute. All right. Uh, okay, everything looks good. Boy, that's that's pretty awesome. Not too many problems. Not you know the usual, but uh, not really too many uh, too many issues, and which is always like a good thing. Uh, amen, friends. So, all right. So, and a couple of quick notes there. No problem there. Just get that thrown out there. Amen. So, yeah, 1030 tonight, friends. Right back at uh, Melon TV. I think I'm going to jump back over there. Got that reset up. So, that's going to be awesome. Amen. Let's go into one of my favorite scriptures here, friends. Let's go ahead and take a look at Deuteronomy. Uh, 30 and 31. Uh, one of my, one of my great scriptures I love going into. Amen. So, follow me if you will, if you dare, because we're going to go into the Word today. Amen. Well, this evening, I guess. I keep thinking tonight or tomorrow, but it's not, it isn't. It's tonight, evening, right? We'll see how long we got and uh, what's happening here. Amen. And, of course, my script, or my notes get thrown off here. All right. Well, let's keep rolling. We got Deuteronomy 30 and 31. Great message of, of encouragement, strength, and hope. So let's jump right to it, friends. Church, let's get to chapter 30 uh, and 31, of course, in Deuteronomy. So follow me over there, if you will. Amen. All right. Uh, verse 19. And let's, of course, grab that fresh cup of coffee, my brothers and sisters. Amen. All right. And like I said, uh, 1030 p.m., Pacific Standard Time tonight, my friends, for our third service, uh, third or fourth, <laughs> over at uh, Melon TV. Great, uh, great channel, and love to be on there. So uh, let's keep rolling. Uh, amen. Verse 19 and 20 here, friends, in Deuteronomy 30 and 31. Now I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live, 
that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that they, uh, thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. Now let's scoot on over. Let's roll on over to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31, friends. And in verse 6, he tells us, as his commands, be strong and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go uh, with thee. He will not fail thee, brothers and sisters, nor forsake thee. And Moses called unto Joshua, and said unto him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou must go with this people and in the land which the Lord has sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit, uh, inherit it. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Uh, fear not, neither be dismayed. All right. So he's telling us a few times in here, uh, friends, uh, not to get discouraged and uh, to not be dismayed or, you know, just get want to give up. I said, like I said, I fail this quite a few times with these podcasts, uh, want to give up and walk away, but... You know, every time I do, uh, you know, of course, I stay, I, I know enough to where I stay in direction. I stay, you know, uh, in my lane, and I go back, and I look at the scriptures that I'm preaching and sharing. Well, I, I put that right back on myself, and uh, that usually pulls me, you know, it actually pulls me out of it. So, I'm grateful for the, uh, you know, again, for the uh, chance and the opportunity here to share the word with you guys. So, thank you guys. Amen. Let's go to 9. And Moses wrote this law and delivered it unto the priests, the sons of Levi, which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord and unto all the uh, elders of Israel. So, there you go. Always love going into the book of Deuteronomy to share that exciting word with you, friends. Amen. So I did read, check. Uh, that's why I wanted to go back on the, uh, you know, the mailing update there with Twitch TV. I wanted to make sure that we got back in there and I retested the camera angle. Uh, I didn't really adjust the backs, uh, you know, the backdrop too much, but I was able to, uh, you know, make sure everything worked. So it looks good. It looks okay. You know, I mean, good enough to go. And and so we're, we're I'm just gonna roll with it and. Uh, you know, it looks, it looks like it's okay. So the camera angle, the, all the view and everything's good. So, uh, amen, right? So, yeah, I'm excited, friends. Good, good, lots of good Bible study coming your way, friends. As we go into our series, uh, amen, our series continued in ear to hear, which we already did. I shared that with you. Well, let's roll on, friends. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 40. Uh, amen. And uh, let's go ahead and check that out. See what the Spirit has to say to the church tonight. Uh, amen. All right. And boy, what do we got here? Uh, so let's get into that. Let's go ahead and find that scripture out for you. Um, and we got Isaiah. Yep, that's it right there. Uh, Isaiah 40 and 41. So let's go ahead and look at that. A couple big scriptures here, but that's okay. I wanted to make sure we got them. Uh, amen. All right. The book of Isaiah 40, 41. Comfort, as he says, comfort through trust in the Lord. Amen. All right, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith the Lord, uh, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Amen. I got to readjust that mic down here just a little bit, make sure it's picking up here. Amen. For our channel on two, 
and our main channel on one. Amen. All right. So, as we continue now, that her warfare is accomplished, that our iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hands double for all her sins, and the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye uh, the way, as I always like to say, Brother John is uh, shouting that out. Amen. That's what I like to use as well. Uh, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain uh, and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the godliness or goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, and the flower fadeth. Because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it, surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth. But the word of our God shall stand for ever. O Zion, that bringest good tidings, get thee up in the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bringest good tidings, lift up her voice and strength, lift it up. For thy voice of strength lifted up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold our God. Amen. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a sheep, and he shall gather the lambs uh, with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Now, we're talking about the majesty of the Lord who hath measured the water in, uh, waters in uh, hollow of his hand and melted out heaven with a span and comprehended the dust. And hang on there. Um, of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains and scales and the hills in a balance who hath directed the spirit amen in the next verse there who hath directed the spirit of the Lord or even his counselor hath taught him with whom took he counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge and showed to him the way of understanding. Now, uh, he says, Behold, the nation, or the nations, um, amen, let me get that taken care of here. Um, let's see, where did I go here? Oh, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the uh, small dust of the balance. And behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for uh, burnt offerings or for a burnt offerings. All nations before him are as nothing. And... They are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melteth the graven image, and the goldsmith spread it over with gold and cast the silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image and shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? 
Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them as a tent to dwell in. Uh, he that bringeth the princesses to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. And yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the heart or earth, and they shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them down or take them away as stubble. All right, to whom then will you liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth upon, or calleth on them all names, or all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, and not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over uh, from my God. Hast thou not known? Uh, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint fronts, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Or, let's see, fall. Yeah, there it is. Uh, 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, friends, church, brothers and sisters. Renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. All right, let's run right over to 41. I love the set. 41 in the book of Isaiah, friends. Let's go ahead and uh, read that. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Uh, let them come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and uh, made him rule over kings. He gave them as the dust to his sword and has driven stubble to his bow. He persuade, or pursued them and passed safely even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first and with the last, I am he. When the islands saw it and feared the ends of the earth were afraid, draw near and came. They helped every one his neighbor, and every one said to his brother, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that sm uh, smothered, smootheth, what? Smootheth. There it is. Not smothered, but smootheth, friends. Uh, with a hammer, him that smote the anvil, saying it is ready for the solderings and he fastened it with nails that it should not be moved but thou O Israel art my servant Jacob whom I have chosen the seed of Abraham my friend thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief our chief men therefore and said unto thee thou art my servant I have chosen thee and not cast thee away fear thou not for I am with thee be not dismayed for I am thy God I will strengthen thee uh, yea I will help thee yea I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness and behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded 
they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against these shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. Right. For I, the Lord God, will... Uh, hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. See, now he's giving us comfort, friends. Isn't that, that's awesome, right? He's just giving us comfort, uh, comfort words, and of course, peace. Amen, right? Amen, that's awesome stuff there. All right, make sure my mic is all tuned in here. Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. And behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument. Having teeth, thou shalt thresh thy, uh, the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Then shall, or shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away. And the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt re, uh, rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. If the God of Israel will not forsake them, I will open rivers and high places, and... Uh, fountains in the midst of the valleys, I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land spring of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and the sheeta tree uh, and the myrtle and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the fir tree uh, and the pine and the box tree together that they may see together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. Amen. All right. Uh, apart from the Lord, there is no hope. Right? So, apart from the Lord, there is no hope. Now, produce your cause, saith the Lord. Uh, let's see. What does he say? Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the Lord, King of Jacob. Let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them or declare us things for to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that they may know that, they, that ye are gods. Uh, yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. And behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come from the rising of the sun, shall he call upon my name, and he shall come upon uh, princess or upon mortar, and as, a, uh, as the potter treadeth clay, who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we may say he is righteous, yea, there is none, and showeth, yea, there is none that declareth, and yea, there is none that heareth your words. The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. For I beheld, and there was no man uh, even among you, and there was no counselor that when I asked them could answer a word. And behold, are all vanity, their works are nothing, their molten images are wind and confusion. Boy, is that a long one. That is awesome, though. That We really need to get into that word friends amen all right so there you go uh isaiah 40 and 41 oh we got matthew here friends we got a couple more we could give you 
Well, I can give you anyway. Uh, <laughs> amen. Oh, let's get some copy. Mercy. Maybe I got too much sleep. I don't know. I never know what uh, what's going on here anyway. I just wake up and podcast. <laughs> Amen. All right, so let's get to our next one. I got a few more for you, friends. I think we can uh, ramp it up here in a, just a little bit. But let's go to the book of Matthew and uh, see how much time we got there. But let's go ahead and check out the book of Matthew, friends. Hey, Amen. All right, and I want to go back here a little bit, went too far from that one. So, Matthew, and we're going to look at 10 through 12, friends. I think that's what we want to do. If we, got, if we got some time here on the clock. Let's go ahead and check that out. And I know uh, it's a little bit longer than, you know, the, the few chapters, but uh, I think we can do it, friends. I think if you got time to watch the news, you got time to turn that off and get into your Bibles friends and read the word of god amen i know like i said i i don't think i've watched news in about 10 years or so uh maybe you know clips here and there or a little bit of information or you know kind of check it out what's happening but for the most part i don't think it, i think it's been like 10 years or so 10 or 11 years since I've, or maybe more um amen you got to tune that out and tune in to the Word of God. Friends, tune your Bibles in and just, you know, block out what's happening. And, well, not block it out, but you know what I mean. Uh, friends, you got to be informed and, you know, uh, but uh, take your, what is it? What's the word there? I'm trying to find a word there and I'm trying to search for the word there. But uh, keep your mind on, on the Lord, friends. Amen and amen. We're in the world, but we're not of the world and we got to separate ourselves out of the world amen because we got that thunder going on what happens we get the thunder and this thing this guy right there that guy amen (laughs) amen all right uh and again i got some new effects how awesome is that let's play a little sample here friends Awesome. Thank you for tuning in to Welcome Friends, Coast to Coast and Worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. Amen. Love that, friend. You got to love it. Brand new intros, uh, brand new outros and stuff for uh, the podcast here. I'll be playing them on every broadcast. Uh, amen. Check us out on Facebook. Thank you. <laughs> Brand new off the press, friends. Just got it downloaded in uh, yesterday, as he says. Thanks for listening. Hey, Amen. So that's the brand new uh, intros, outros, brand new stuff that I got off of the uh, channel there. And I will be uh, using them intermittently throughout the podcast. And, of course, the intro part uh, with uh, Miss Penny there. So that is very awesome. And uh, try to change it up a little bit here. Uh, you know, want to want to make sure that, uh, you know, keep it, keep it fresh, keep it rolling. And, of course, you know, I may add some other, uh, other uh, effects and voices there. But uh, for now, that is uh, how it's uh, how it's set, and so very awesome, very cool uh, intros there. So, and I gotta find the name of the company too, because I do want to uh, give them a shout out uh, for those uh, intros and stuff. So, very awesome, friends, and you're gonna find that. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to upload it to the other channels as well, and to uh, 
uh, the other broadcast, podcast messages there and stuff. So that's going to be on our Spreaker. And, of course, you guys can, you know, catch these on all the broadcasts. So pretty awesome stuff, friends. Pretty awesome moving in uh, into the position here. And I always appreciate that. So. Amen. So there's our playback. So it is good there. We are golden on that channel. So that is awesome. And like I said, I'll repost these after I get done here. So you guys can catch all the full broadcast here. How awesome is that? A Friday evening. All right. So we've got Matthew. And I think we've got time for just a few more. Uh, and that's okay. So Matthew 10. So let's dive into that word, my friends. And uh, like I said, we are to be separate from the world. Amen. Chapter 10. Now, as Jesus chooses the 10, or the 12, right? The 12, not the 10. That would be, that's not what it says. <laughs> uh, so verse 1, And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Amen, right? Amen. Uh, all right, let's see what it says here. All right, now the names of the 12 apostles of these, the, of course, we know the 12, uh, 12 uh, disciples there. We've got Simon, who is called Peter and Andrew, his brother. James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the publican. James, uh, the son of Alphaeus and Labius, whose surname was Thaddeus. Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. Now, the mission of the Twelve, and I believe we follow in that footsteps too, friends. We, I believe we, we're just uh, in that same bloodline uh, on point, on mission, as we uh, continue to share this gospel here, uh, or the good news gospel. So, let's check this out, and let's go into the mission of the Twelve. Now, these Twelve Jesus uh, sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out the devils, or cast out devils. Freely you have received, and freely give. Right? Uh, sort of our mission statement as we talk about that, right? Now provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey. Uh, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves. For the workman is worthy of his meat. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy. And there abide till ye go thence. And when ye come into the house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, uh, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall receive you not to, or nor hear your words, when ye depart... Uh, let's see, I believe that's uh, when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet, or off your feet there, or of your feet, there it is. Now verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah uh, in the day of judgment than for that city. All right, now, warning of persecutions. And, of course, hey, we're getting it, right? Uh, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to their counsels, 
and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for, uh, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, uh, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. Uh, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. For if uh, it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall raise up against their parents uh, and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men uh, for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end, friends, he that endureth to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, Flee ye into another, for verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the uh, over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. More instructions for the disciples as we continue to go into this part here, friends. And then I think, like I said, we might close out with this one. Uh, got a little bit of a break here, and then I'll be back on the Melon TV channel here in just a little bit, about 10.30, again, Pacific Standard Time, friends. Now, the disciple uh, is not above his master and the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and a servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house be Elzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore, uh, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in, in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops, and fear not them which kill the body, uh, but are not able to kill the soul. Um, let's see. Now, but, uh, let her, uh, let's see, is that it? I'll have to look into that. Uh, but not her fear upon him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground? And, let's see. Uh, on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore. Ye are of one value, uh, or more value, than many uh, sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. And there goes our next-door neighbors, blasting out of here to go do something. Ah, uh, mercy. All right, but whoever shall deny me before men, uh, him will I also deny uh, before my Father which is in heaven. Now, friend, did you hear that? What he is saying, if you deny him before them, as he said, before men, in verse uh, 33, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Not peace, but a sword. Let's take a look at this next part. Uh, amen. Now think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come to, not to send peace, but a sword. For I come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against the mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. Amen. Uh, a man's foe shall be they of his own household. And he that loveth father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. Uh, and 
he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that taketh not his cross, watch this, in verse 38, friends, as we are in the book of Matthew, and it's going to be uh, chapter 10 here. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Mercy, friends, I'm telling you, oh, man. All right, verse 40. He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him, uh, him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receiveth or receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of those little ones, or these little ones, a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple verily I say unto you, ye shall in no wise lose his reward. Uh, John the Baptist asked about Jesus in verse 11 here, friends. And it came to pass, when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed, thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Uh, Jesus answered and said unto him, Go and show John again these things, which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And, as he says here, And blessed is he whosoever uh, shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, turn that volume down a little bit. Amen. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, When or what went ye out into the wilderness to see a reed shaken with the wind? But what went out, or what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. And behold, they that swear, or <laughs> wear, not swear, uh, friends that wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. But when, or what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, uh, a more than a prophet. All right. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face. And boy, do I got to fix that part. That's not so good. For thy face, friends. That's what it reads there. Amen. Let's fix that up before it gets too bad. Uh, which shall prepare the way before the Lord. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, uh, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Not... Withstanding, as he says, as he continues here, uh, withstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force, for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is... Uh, Elisha, All right, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John 
uh, came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath a devil. And the son of man uh, came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous in a wine bibber, a friend of the publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Jesus foretells judgment. Then began he to unbraid the cities wherein most of those uh, mighty works were done because they repented not. Mm. All right, bear with me for a second, you guys. Just a second here. Amen. So let's continue. I believe in 19. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber, a friend of the publicans and sinners. But uh, wisdom is justified of her children. Then began he to unbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works uh, were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazin, woe unto uh, thee, Bassadia. For if, a mighty, uh, if the mighty works which were done in you had begun, uh, then done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shalt be brought down to hell, for it is uh, the mighty works which had been done in thee hath been done in Sodom. It would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment man for me or thee and now at that time Jesus answered and said I thank thee O Lord or Father Lord of heaven and earth because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes and even so father for so it seemed good in thy sight Oh, man. Now, verse 27, All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, and neither knoweth any man. The Father saved the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Amen. Grabbing that fresh cup of coffee, my friends. Hey, we're rolling here just a little over two hours. You are on your second service tonight. Uh, again, updated quickly over at uh, Twitch TV earlier at about 4.40, 4.30 a.m. Uh, there. And, of course, you know, with the other updates, the friends at uh, all the other media channels, got to keep up on that. It's a daily uh, task, a daily mission. Uh, so I thought I'd get back on here, get back on track with the audio part of the podcast. Uh, random. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to get on there, but uh, I am going to add those back again. I kind of did for a while and then I just kind of dropped it uh, because the other one the other uh, podcasts were just overloaded a little bit overwhelmed uh, and so I kind of just uh, back off a little bit but I'm, I'm really kind of feeling the urge to get back on the audio part of the podcast anyway you know God's radio got to keep up with that got to keep shouting that word of God out so uh, jumping back on it as I had an opportunity to this evening early evening here uh, so, yeah, probably just going to close out with, uh, what do we got, 10, 11, and I probably will save 12 because I won't have time to uh, run and do that. Uh, so, amen. So I'll save that for uh, the next part here. Um, as like I said, I get so, I have so much. It's amazing. I'm really just, I mean, not surprised, really. You know, when you hear the Word of God and you have it, it's just amazing. So let's close this out. Uh, the Father saved the Son, and He to whomsoever the Son will reveal Him. Now the great invitation He's given us. Now come unto Me, all ye that labor 
and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now there we go, friends. What a what a great verse in scripture there. Uh, amen. All right. So I think what I'll do is we'll go ahead and just close out with that one. Uh, amen. I don't want to get too much, but you know I I never know. I've got so much to share with you. Uh, amen. So uh, let's see. Go ahead and do that. Get that fixed up here. Um, uh, so yeah, I'll uh, we'll just close out with that, friends. Why not? You know, I got lots more for you. Like I said, come back here in just a few hours. Uh, again, back on Melon. So that's gonna be great. Always love those channels. You know, uh, always trying to improve and uh, and uh, you know just get some. A different kind of a different uh, a look and a different sound and feel and all that stuff. I don't know. Always trying to keep up with all that stuff. So, uh, amen. Oops. Amen. Should have been on here a lot earlier, but <laughs> I got wiped out. Well, I'm telling you, a few hours of work like that uh really 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 just uh it just takes me out uh the picture and I, like i said i wanted to uh get on here really earlier today than usual and i couldn't do it just just didn't wasn't able to do it so um you know but like i said i'm always uh you know set up and always able to just jump on when i get a chance to now I'm not sure if I'm going to get on here at three o'clock. I may have to reset that. I do have some things to catch up on and shopping to do, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to do that earlier. But you guys know, you know, I try to do these uh, three o'clock. Uh, try to keep it, you know, kind of a set scheduling. Uh, some basic, you know, familiar uh, podcasts that I'm able to get on here, but. We'll see how the day goes. It's not even here yet, and we can't worry about it. So, amen. But, uh, you know, usually, like I said, the weekends are uh, about 3 o'clock uh, and 10 o'clock. And then, you know, like I said, that's that's pretty much the weekend schedule, 3 and 10. Uh, first one's always at Restream TV, and then the later one is usually on uh, Melon TV. So, Try to do the, you know, try to keep up with those and, and make sure I get those out. But, again, it's kind of a, you know, I never know. And if I get an opportunity to go on earlier or do, you know, do an earlier uh, broadcast here on the uh, audio part of it, you know, just the audio broadcast, um, I will do that. So, stay tuned, my friends. Uh, <laughs> I never know. <laughs> I don't, I just, you know, I gotta do, uh, you know, keep, try to keep up with everything and just make sure I get the, get consistently on it. As, again, we've got some new subscribers at YouTube, boy, that is awesome, thank you guys for doing that, uh, always appreciate that, so, alright, well, there it is, my friends, amen. have to go ahead and go fix that here. Uh, amen. Alright. Well, always good to be here. Always great, uh, you know, being on here with you guys. I always appreciate that. Uh, amen. Alright, so just updating here. I'm going to get that. And... Uh, give me a minute here, friends. Uh, try to get caught up a little bit of stuff here. Not a whole lot, but uh, I do want to get caught up on that a little bit. And let me go ahead and fix that. Amen. All right. Always exciting. Get a lots of homework. Lots of stuff happening here. Amen. 
give me a minute here. Let me get caught up on this. Well, again, I hope you guys had a great Friday as we head on into our weekends. Uh, our weekend, it's not weekends, it's not plural there, it's singular, so weekend. But uh, I hope you guys are doing well and have a blessed rest of your Friday. Uh, come on back, my friends. Stick around. I got a lot more for you uh, as I'll be going into my uh, next service here. Again, probably on uh, Melon uh, TV, friends. I'll be jumping back over there. Um, amen. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go get this fixed up here. Um, Again, always got a lot of scriptures for you, a lot of church services. I like to uh, share uh, the good news gospel with you, friends. Amen. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to fix up all this stuff, and uh, like I said, I got so much to do here. But hey, like I said, it's always a great opportunity to be in the Word. Always appreciate it for sure. And uh, always, uh, you know, just jump at the opportunity to, to get on here and, and share the word with you guys. So, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. And have a great, fantastic rest of your Friday uh, night, friends. Again, I am still your host, Pastor Rick, here at Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Just a tad bit over 720 on your dial, my brothers and sisters. And again, always, always, always good to be here always good to share the word of god with you in my you know in in the studio here in studio a and again always uh always grateful to have this opportunity uh to share the word the precious word of our lord and savior friends uh amen all right so let's see let's go ahead and clean that up a bit uh Amen. All right. Uh, this will be a little bit of homework here. But, you know, like I said, I always appreciate it. I don't, I don't mind at all. Uh, amen. It's always good to be in the Word. All right. So I think pretty close. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where to even start on half this stuff. It's amazing. Uh, amen. So give me a minute here. Let me go ahead and just tighten this up a little bit. Uh, work on the uh, the next set of scriptures for tonight. Like I said, be back here about 1030. Uh, I did the update over at Twitch, and so it's uh, pretty much uh, smooth sailing from here on out. Just kind of, you know, going to relax, get some dinner, freshen up my coffee, and uh, make a couple of calls there. Uh, amen. And I, you know, just kind of settle back and relax and, well, do the updates anyway. There's lots of updates I got to do and, you know, still posting out some new podcasts for this week uh, as we, you know, continue into our work week here. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's uh, it's great, like I said, to, uh, you know, just to, to get in the Word and uh, share uh, a few scriptures here with you. Uh, amen. So what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to go to Matthew. Mercy. Uh, <laughs> I, I was going to like go out in the rest of Matthew here, and I wanted to do that instead of James. So we were going to look at James here, but I wanted to uh, wanted to go ahead and uh, go into Matthew 12 is what the next uh, one we were going to look at here. Uh, all right. Well, you guys are always fantastic. I always appreciate you. Um, amen. And uh, amen, of course. Uh, so let me go ahead and fix that. And that will be our opening scripture uh, here, friends. We do want to go ahead and do that. Um, and that's going to be 12. So one, what is it? Uh, how many verses we got in that one? Uh, there's your trivia question, friends. How many verses are in Matthew chapter 12? Uh, amen. There are 50. <laughs> so there you go. Spoiler. There's, a, there's 50 verses uh, in this. And, uh, well, that's always right. We'll, we'll check that out. Uh, amen. So we're going to read that. That will be our opening scripture tonight. 
uh, friends for sure. We'll go ahead and jump into that. And I think that's, uh, I think we're good. I, I think actually uh, we're going to be okay there, uh, friends. So this is kind of your last minute rambling, scrambling words here. Oh, uh, boy. All right. So uh, I think that's uh, good to go. And uh, as I said, it's going to be a jam-packed uh, podcast, as it always is. Always grateful. And uh, I'd like to go ahead and share these messages with you. So, let me write down a couple of these notes here, and let's see, boy, this is going to be packed, friends, we're going to have a lot of scriptures uh, on this, so uh, stick around, make sure you got your notebooks with you, uh, amen. All right, well, there it is, <laughs> there it is, all right, lots of scriptures, lots of messages, uh, friends, as we continue our broadcast uh, here later on, our video part of the broadcast, of course, and um, yeah, just trying to go on over a few little notes here. I do want to uh, kind of fix that up a little bit. Um, all right, so there you go. There's your opening. That's what we're going to look at, uh, and I'll have to go ahead and fix that up, of course. And readjust. So there you go. Hope you uh, had a great Bible study with me, friends, tonight. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick uh, hanging out uh, again on the broadcast here. Doing, doing a little bit different uh, for you, friends. Giving you a long-winded two-hour-plus podcast here. Amen. All right, friends. That's it for me. And let me again glow, go out to uh, here. All right. Thanks for listening. And I'm going to close it out with our favorite. See how that works, my friends. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in to Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick here. See you on the next broadcast, my brothers and sisters. Take care. Amen.